so in this class we'll be talking about the string question which came in 2018 that is question number three which was about taking a, a few strings horizontally like you normally enter and then displaying them in a vertical fashion like a banner okay so this is actually one of the very simple questions ever asked but since we are doing all the questions after the board examination so we'll do this one as well right so let's have a look and there's a lot of story around it so the names of teams participating in a competition should be displayed on a banner vertically so that's the point we have to display it vertically to accommodate as many teams as possible in a single banner that's what they are saying that's the idea right and you have to design a program to accept the name of n teams where n will be more than two and less than nine and display them in a vertical order side by side with a horizontal tab <coughs> that is eight spaces and then we have to test the program with the data so like they have given an example if n is equal to three these are the team names one two three and then these are printed vertically can you see this is, is it okay what we are trying to do yes sir similarly when there are four yes, teams sir. then four vertical rows when there are like for example we say 10 then we'll say invalid input so i believe the question is quite straightforward there's one just very minor trick which we have to take care care of when we are doing it and since this is so simple that i don't think there is any point in even making different functions for this because this is just too straightforward there will be more overhead in function call if we try to do it okay anyway so let's begin i don't have a template for this today so i'll just create it quickly isc 2018 question number three dot java i press enter and there we are and then we'll have our main method and since we have to enter from the keyboard we'll have to say import java dot util dot fix we come down over here we'll say scanner im is equal to new scanner system dot in and then at the end we'll say that okay in dot close so now we begin so what we have to do first we have to display the message input n is equal to like they did in the question if you notice the first thing is we'll have to say input and that is followed by what is n equal to so i'll copy this and we'll prompt the user we'll say system dot system dot out dot print we'll display the string we'll give some space so that it looks nice and then we'll take the input n we'll say that okay int n is equal to in dot next int and that will take care of the input part so the n will be entered now we have to check whether the n is in the given range or not so if n is more than 2 and n is less than 9 the range is okay otherwise the range is not okay and if the range is not okay we have to display a message and for that message we'll copy that print thing and what was the actual message over there out of range no the message was in invalid input clear so what we'll have to say and are they displaying output also hold on let me check yeah after output they are saying invalid input so what we'll do we'll have the message over here message done and then we need a print for output as well so we'll just copy this portion and right after we have taken the input we'll say excuse me sir yes sir in if condition it is greater than matlab less than 9 oh sorry i just pressed the wrong key next to it right so if n is more than 2 and n is less than 9 so now the range is okay so this takes excuse me sir yes karthik so we still have to take the input so we should display the output inside the, inside the if condition we have to st oh yes right this has to go this can't go over here this will go over here and here we'll just say 
output colon slash n. I think that should be okay now. Say yes, say no, say something. Yes, sir. Okay. So once this is done, now we come to the main part, not the, exactly the main part. What we have to do, we have to create an array to store the name of the teams and the array will be of type string. So we'll say a string team is equal to new string. And what should be the size? N. Clear? Once that is done, oh, we forgot the box bracket over here. So we'll go over here, we'll quickly place the box bracket. Okay. Once this is done, now we'll take a loop to get the data one by one. So I'll say that, okay, for int, i is equal to zero, i is less than n i plus plus. And then we'll take the input. And they had a proper format for the input. They were saying team one, team two, team three, team four, followed by a colon. So let's do it. System dot out dot print. We'll have to first say team, then we'll have to say the value of i plus one because they are not starting from zero. And then they are also displaying a colon followed by a space, right? So that will take care of the prompt. Once the prompt is given, what we'll do, we'll simply say that, okay, team of i is equal to i n dot next. Line. So that will take care of the team name. Any doubts till this point? No, sir. No. Now, if you notice, when we will be printing it vertically, <coughs> what are your ideas? How, how we should do? From where to where the loop should go? So we should take a max variable and whenever user enters a team name, we should exactly check the length of the string. Yes, we have to have a max variable. So either we or we can just get the the value of max calculated in this loop also only when we are entering it. Yes, sir, that only. Huh. So what we'll do is we'll take one variable. We'll call it int max is equal to initially zero because whatever we'll get will be more than this. And then right after this, we'll have our if statement to check. How to check? We'll say that if team of i dot length is more than max, and first time, whatever it is, it will be more than max. So if it is more than max, then we'll say that, okay, max is equal to team of i dot length. So that will take care of the max. And length is a method actually. So this and this. So now we have the max. Now we have to take a loop from zero to max. So we'll go down. We'll say that, okay, for int row is equal to zero. Row is less than or equal to less than or equal to or less than. Come on, anyone. Because since Only we are counting. Are you sure? Yes, sir, because if you use the function caret, it will never be equal to max actually. Okay. Let us see. We'll go down, we'll say max, and we'll say that okay, row plus plus. So now we'll have an outer loop for rows. The inner loop will be for columns. So we'll say that okay, int call is equal to zero. And call is less than what? Number of rows, isn't it? Because what was horizontally is now becoming vertical. So this will be till n. And we'll say call plus plus. Any doubts in this? Should make sense? Quite straightforward. Now what I should do? Print it directly or something extra is required? Please note we don't so we want to... directly print it. We don't want a slash t at the end. Otherwise, there will be one extra slash t at the end, isn't it? We should display a slash t only if it is not the last column. So let's have one more if, just to be on, a, because this is all about output. 
Otherwise, let's say if you are having too many lines, that slash t might go in the next page. We don't want that to happen, right? So we'll just say if row is less than uh, team of call dot length, right? If it is the case, then we'll display the string. Otherwise, we'll display just the tab character. So let's quickly copy out system dot out dot print from somewhere. Let's say from here. So in the else part, we'll display slash t. Otherwise, we'll and then over here we'll say that okay, system dot out dot print ln. No, no, not print ln. Print. What we'll print? Team of column dot char at of come on char at of mm -hmm. what is everyone thinking row row exactly that's what is left okay so row and then we need a slash t trailing this isn't it or we don't need that slash t let's see so print so I think it's done. What was so we have to print a space also. Where? Hold on. After every character. That is a slash t what they are saying in the oh, question. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, that's why I did. Okay. So now we have to give a few names. So let's run it. I say control X, control F5. The program runs. So N is equal to 3. Okay. Now what about this? It skipped one in Sir, the... uh, actually that uh, system dot order print it shouldn't be it should be print ln in that uh, for scroll up please. No, forget about that part. First you talk about this now. It never took the input for the first team. What to do? Uh, take one variable string variable. Uh, we have to get rid of that enter key which was there after this. So we have to say yes. in dot next line to get rid of the last line. So now if we run it, at least the input part should work. So n is equal to, I say three, team one, I say that, okay, team one is, let's say team one, team two is team two, and team three is team three. And now if I press enter, so we get it side, each side by side. Now, what's the bug? Excuse me, sir. Yes, Karthik. Sir, I can't see the bottom portion of your screen again. Again. <laughs> okay, now you are still on the phone, na? Yes, sir. Okay, I'll have to make the window smaller now. There's no other way out. Can you see it now? Now, a very small portion is visible now. You better sit on a computer, Karthik. This is very problematic. Sir, actually, my computer is not working now. Okay, then try to cast. My window's the... crashed. Cast the phone onto the screen. In 24 okay. hours, it, it crashed twice. And you are still on Windows. Get rid of Windows altogether. Okay, anyway. That's a decision for you to make. Okay, coming back to this. So what's the bug? <laughs> so where's the output? Output is actually gone over here. It's not showing it. Hold on. Should I run it once more? No. Where is the output gone by the way? It did printed it, right? Okay, once more. Control S, Control F5. N is equal to 3. Team 1. Team 2. Team 3. This is the output. Yes. Come on, find the bug. Sir, I got it. What? First of all, we forgot uh, the print ln. The print yes, ln sir. should be right outside. Yeah, that's what I said. Right, right outside mean between this and then. So system dot out dot print ln. So 
once we make this correction and we say that okay team first i just want to have an equal length team second and then i say that okay team three so now the sizes are different so it is still not what we wanted so what is now missing a slash t in between isn't it yes that, sir that means a slash t why it's not asking for the input okay it's there n is equal to three i say first team two team three first team two team three that is what the output was no we forgot one thing okay what did you forgot so we are not displaying the last character hmm we are not displaying the last character we are not displaying the last character which last character are you talking about uh, so please scroll down a bit and that output no it is displayed okay so it's displayed okay it is displayed that's not a problem yeah so the only problem now is we forgot to say output at the correct place we are saying output over here output should be after the input right so this line will not be over here it will be before the loop over here i'm not going to run it again okay it's okay that what is happening make sense yes sir so that's it any doubts or clarifications you may ask now excuse me sir yes harsh sir so i have a doubt in yesterday's program now you have a doubt in yesterday's program okay so then i'll close the stream and then you can we can talk about the doubt